let me show you how we can censor a photo in Affinity Photo. So the easiest way to cover something will be to simply draw a black shape on it. Not the most elegant way, but let's try it out. So I head to the left here to the tool panel. You can open all of the shapes, but I still recommend just simple rectangle or ellipse. And let's say we got this lady here and we want to kind of censor her eyes like that. So we draw the vector shape. Then we adjust the color here on the right. The black one is usually the best for something like this. And job's done. All right. So that's one way of doing it. Other way will be to simply make some kind of local blur. So to do that, I like to copy the whole photo or just copy that area. So for example, I can now make a selection. There are several different selection tools here in the left in the panel, but we can have like maybe elliptical selection. I will just select her face like that. Be sure you are on the layer of the original image and I'm going to now Command C to copy, Command V to paste. And this way we kind of copy and paste her face on the separate layer. And now I'm going to simply blur this layer. So I can now head to quick filters here below in the layer panel and search for Gaussian blur. That should be the very first one. And by applying the blur on that face that we already copy and paste, we got this face nicely blur. And that's also a nice way to censor something in the picture and way softer, right? We don't have any like black rectangle popping out now. So this is a bit subtle way. And also, if you don't want to do a classic blur, you can do a pixelate thing. So we can now go for the top here for filters. We got a special filter here that we can use for that as well. Go to distort section and we're going to apply pixels. You may remember this one from 90s. It was really popular filter used in TV in 90s for censorship of like faces, license plates and stuff like that. So we got those large blurry pixels. So that's one way of doing that. We already learned three ways. And what's my favorite one? What I like to do is I like to actually draw this kind of rectangle first, like the black one. And then, then I hold command and click on that rectangle to make selection. I use that selection to copy and paste this area from the original image, command C, command V. Then I apply pixels on that. So something we just saw a moment ago, so filter distort pixels. Okay, so I got those pixels. And then I still keep this black rectangle by reduce opacity to like 50%, maybe 40. So I kind of, I like to blend those two things. All right, we got pixels and we got still this dark rectangle. Nicely censoring like license plate of the car. And some important numbers, names, logos, all people faces. All right, so now you know multiple ways how you can censor your photo from covering it up with a shape to blurring it out or pixelating that area or everything in between. I just mix those two methods together. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.